Thanks for staying with us. Um, we're on to our first hot topic, and it's that the federal government has stopped the sale of 40,000 Naira subsidized rice to civil servants. They halt the planned sale of the subsidized rice to civil servants, withdrawing the earlier secular that directed them to apply for the rice. A new secular from the Ministry of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Affairs, dated August 2, 2024, announced the withdrawal but did not provide reasons or indicate whether the scheme was permanently stopped or just suspended. The original secular had uh, instructed civil servants to apply through a Google form and mentioned that the distribution and payment for the rice would be managed by this designated offices with oversight from the Joint Union Council Chairman. The government had recently set up centers for purchasing 50 kg bags of rice at a subsidized rate of 40,000 naira as part of efforts to ease living conditions for citizens. The Minister of Information and National Orientation, led by Mohamed Idris, had described this initiative as one of the several measures by the Tinubu administration to improve citizens' living conditions. Now, to discuss this with us is uh, Alfred Ogan, social commentator. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning. Good morning, Alfred. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Um, uh, the 40,000 Naira rice for 50 kg rice. <laughs> 40,000 Naira for 50 kg rice. Um, I don't even know how to ask you. Okay. This is what has happened now. They have stopped uh, the registration and we do not know whether this right, rice will still be distributed, whether this rice will still have designated centers, that it seems as if there was wind for the, for the protest and a pronouncement was made. Now the yeah. protests are stopped. They have stopped the, pro <laughs> the, the, the gesture as well. I don't know what your comment will be on this. It, it is a good uh, gesture to have that out. Yeah, but the question people are asking is, uh, were the rice even been sold for you know, the, 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 the public workers has been saved by the federal government. Where, where was the center? Was there a particular center? How many people were able, able to uh, were able to buy uh, those rice as claimed? These are the questions people are asking. And then, and, and then the, the formula for in which they were, were, they were being meant to be sold out to um, workers, how was that even meant? Uh, what was the formula that the, the federal government even made, the arrangement made? So people are saying that it is because of the fact that people were um, set out to come out for protests, and that was why um, they, they had to quickly make that um, initiative of um, uh, providing a slashing the price tag for, for the rise for the, um, the public um, um, workers. You know, so so these are the things that we are saying. Government can just do better. Don't wait until when you see that the people are not coming back at you before you set up um, um, uh, measures in, in which you can reach out to people, in which you can um, help the people uh, survive. We are saying hunger is in the land, and you are making provision. Why is not why why all of a sudden now the protest is going calm or the protests are stopped? Now the sales all of a sudden is being stopped. Hmm. So, the, so first, people saying okay. that they were, they, were, they were not even out before for people to purchase. Mm. Mm. So even it, in the it, first it, place. It not look like a propaganda from the government. Okay, so even in the first place, should they have, you know, tried to subsidize this rice for only civil servants? I mean, the hunger protest was for everybody. It wasn't just for civil servants. It wasn't just civil servants that came out. It was the entire nation. It was a nationwide protest. And a lot of people were crying for hunger. So whatever measures that they are going to put in place, shouldn't that be something that should cut across every single person, not just a select few? Why should the government even make something like this in the first place that is just for civil servants? You see, all of these things, I, I was going to I was going to skip in this as well, too. Mm. All of these things is all uh, been, uh, shooting out or uh, taking headlines today because because of the fact that people are asking questions. Mm. And, and that's why for some persons who are saying uh, we are asking too much questions and we are telling them if we are asking questions, uh, you know, the people, political um, uh, office holders, if we are asking questions and, or we are trying to checkmate them, it's mm. because we want them to do more. And exactly. it's because we don't want um, the Tinubu-led administration to fail. That is why we are asking all of these questions that we are asking. 
All of these things are putting out to play now or taking headlines in uh, you know, major um, um, uh, TV and newspapers today all because of the fact that we are, we are giving a checkmate for the government and we want them uh, to succeed. These are coming out. One, the question people are asking is that um, uh, we, we, we had um, on the 1st of August, we had the, one of the ministers who came up on TV and was talking about the fact that um, about... Um, uh, 570 billion was was being moved out to uh, every um, um, state governors, you know, to to reduce the tension of hunger in the land. How are this money being used? Even if these monies are being set out there for um, uh, state governors to to make do with, um, coming out to say uh, you are setting that kind of um, 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 gesture for just the office people. Are you saying that, that is, is is it only the public servants that are supposed to benefit from such? Kind of money, a huge amount of money of sort. I, I heard the minister very well. He said over uh, 570 billion was being out for each and every state for them to be to, to make do with. And you are coming up with uh, that kind of uh, measures for just the public um, servants alone. How would the other people benefit from it? We are saying they can do better. There are measures in which um, uh, got, they, they can they can meet up with the uh, the demands of the people. We, Set up a, a, a meter where people can get to benefit and profit from it directly from the government. What happened to this to local, uh, local government? You can set up. Today, if you go out in the street now, you have a particular bakery, not to mention name here. It's out almost in every street. We are talking about the fact that um, bread now is being sold, one loaf of bread is being sold for 1,500, 1,800. Mm -hmm. Egg that we used to buy two for, for, for 15 era before, <laughs> it's not 300 era per one. There are measures that they can spend this money and the people that are involved can get to partake from this thing directly uh, by the government. Now, yes, what are the strategies that they will use? Because uh, we've always had a problem of this, uh, the strategy. Uh, now that they have stopped mm. this distribution, maybe they listen to the people who are asking the same questions like Rume was asking, yeah. why should it only be for the public servant or civil servants and all that? Uh, we were talking, even on this show, we were asking that question, why would you do that only for the uh, civil servants? But now, the government seems to be a listening government. Uh, which uh, Loud in, and clear. Yes, they, they seem to be listening. They will do one thing and then listen and then do another one. So we'll now have a supplementary, uh, <laughs> supplementary um, poverty alleviation or supplementary uh, whatever they, they want to call it because we like supplementary in this country. We were just talking about the fact that we are, we are having four budgets. Mm -hmm. uh, budget 2023, supplementary budget 2023 mm -hmm. and those of 2024 as well. So maybe we'll have supplementary poverty alleviation program right now. But what are the measures that they should put in place to make sure One that whatever the, policy they I are know, doing gets to the people? That's our concern. Yes. Uh, the measures that, that they can set. One of them, I just mentioned one now. You, you see almost in Lagos now. I, I reside in Lagos. If you see almost in every street now, you have a bakery. Set yeah. up a, a, a such kind of bakery where people can come in and buy. If the people are selling for 1,500 per loaf of bread, uh, you, you, the government cannot sell for a thousand naira, for example. By so doing, people are getting um, these, these things um, directly to themselves. But they you say there is, you know, the government has there. no, no oh. business doing business. Yes, so. Asa, and aside that, there's an issue because even with this rice that was being distributed or being sold for about 40,000 naira, there was an issue that was raised that some of these people sold. will get... <laughs> A lot of bags and start to sell it in the open market so if you're saying yeah. that the government should set up something how do we know that corruption is not going to find its way there whereby those people will take them and still go and sell it for the same price market value or even more that, that is that is why I'm, that I'm saying that um, you see if you have a, a, a platform or a, like a, 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 you, for, for example a formula where uh, the, the people can get to meet with them a visibility uh, an accessibility where people can just walk in for example you see you have a factory that is being set up there are many factories that they can say that people can come in directly uh, uh, get 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 there for example I talked about egg that is not being sold for 300 per one if a government a government have a farm close by where it's where you know you can walk in there you have the eggs that have been produced there for people to come in and buy they come in there you buy at a cheaper rate instead of um, uh, buying out at, at, a, at a at a price that is, is higher than that of the government 
for example. So because if you the, the, that of the rice is even is, is even a no-go area because we have watched in this um, same country over the past uh, where you have political office holders um, getting to rebrand some of this rice, uh, rebrand some of the palliative that are meant yeah. for the masses, use it as souvenirs for their birthday parties mm -hmm. uh, and the likes. So, but uh, what I'm talking about here is it will have. A, a, a place where people can walk in. As you are going there, you know it is already being subsidized for, by the government. They are producing it there. You are going there, they have no excuse that uh, where you will not be able to buy. As you are entering there, you can get to achieve or buy that thing from there because you know it's a government um, a platform that is being set up for people to reduce uh, price. You have a price control over such things. That's what I'm saying. Okay, maybe it's just like um, the BRT where which is run by government, yeah. mm. people just go there and take advantage of it and all that. I don't know if that template would work. About, yeah, uh, especially everything. when it comes to food. Yes. Yeah. Because it's, we've seen we've seen palliative. That was the word I was looking for. Supplementary mm. palliative. We've seen yes. where this never worked, and you've seen uh, the the uh, the the uproar that we've had in the past when things are given to the masses and it never get to them. But yeah. what is your your take about the amount of supervision of government's uh, initiatives in Nigeria generally? They can always do better. Nobody, see, we cannot have um, a government where people are saying that, they are, that there is no job employment, and then you want to have us praise the government. We will always have, there should always be a room where we will continue to criticize the government because we want them not to fail. We want them to uh, have you know, um, um, measures as such. So you cannot say um, uh, provide job opportunity. We keep saying this, provide job opportunity. That was what I was talking about, uh, setting up a mini, perhaps a mini factory where people can, that can, you know, get jobs there to be done. Like I talk about this issue of farming now, for example, um, setting a, maybe a kind of a mini farm where you have poetry farm where people can also work. You employ a lot of people there and then people can also come in and buy cheaper also. So job opportunity is what I'm talking about here. They need to provide more. People mm. are out there. There are no jobs for people. Okay, so uh, aside the job opportunities, don't you think even for our manufacturing sector, we need to do a, a lot more because most of the manufacturing companies are living in Nigeria so many have gone already there's still so many that are to go as well so uh, don't we need to look at the business environment and how it can be more sustainable for people to come because that might just even have a ripple effect on the economy so what is the government supposed to be doing now to have this overhaul for our economy and make it better we, we talk about electricity when we talk about uh, companies folding up they are folding up. What are the reasons why companies are folding up or mm. co co companies are getting to leave um, our country? It's because of the fact that they, that there are no powers. For example, uh, you know, it, there are no powers. Well, now there's Today, band now, A. <laughs> hmm? You know? So well, now there's band A, so they're giving you power. I don't know if you're going to see the 20 hours of power, but yes. Uh, as, uh, the, the, even the people in the band are even complaining. Mm. The light is not even, it's not even staying. Yeah. And then when it, it's even too expensive for them to use. Right. So you can imagine if somebody, uh, an individual, is paying 1,000 naira for, for, uh, for four units. If you have a company that is being set up, a factory that Less is being set up, to employ people, mm -hmm. I imagine how much that, how would that company uh, um, um, uh, be able to uh, survive in such um, uh, atmosphere? Mm. These are the things that uh, we, we, we're talking about. It's, 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 it's expensive. And even as it's expensive, are we even getting to see the light? The people of the band A, the people of the band B, are they seeing the light as they are supposed to see the light? Well, some of us are on rubber band, so we don't know. <laughs> because it's not even band A to Z. It's not. It's just, it's just rubber band. <laughs> That's where we are. Oh, uh, but so I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Listening. <laughs> you know, because uh, over, before now, some of them came up and, uh, they, of course, they were denying the fact that um, all of these things are all oh, people are just exaggerating. We were yeah. saying that people are buying rice for uh, 85,000, 75,000. They were saying that, um, you know, um, the people are just exaggerating that all these things are not even up to that amount. I can of tell you that for free are, that that is not said because I bought a bag of rice a few months ago for 145,000 naira. 
a different type of rice anyway. But then 145,000 naira for a 50 kg bag. And don't get me started about the basmati rice. That is like 50,000 naira for 5 kg. So that, that, will, that will even take us now to say, maybe they have, the government now have tried to see that, oh, the, the price for 40,000 naira. They... Basically, it's almost like 50% off. Hello, Alfred. They are trying to sell it. Hello. I think we just have uh, an issue with Alfred's audio, but hopefully um, he comes back really soon. Talking this, this about rice, this rice that are saying that people can buy for forty thousand, where are they getting it from? Where was the rice in the first place? So because are you trying to tell me that rice. you got it a long time ago, and maybe it was around that rate, but then you kept it till now who kept it because when the uh, president said that they should open the silos and distribute rice and we heard that there was no rice no single mm -hmm. grain in the silos where did they get this one so, now from? Uh, let me tell you something about nigeria that nobody understands yet there is a lot of what i call abracadabra what? a lot of magic that just happens so you're saying that there is no rice well all of a sudden we have rice for you i don't know but where nobody it came ever, from. ever saw any bag of rice anyway they said register because they didn't say go to this area and collect the rice and mm. buy the rice. They said you have to register. Mm. So people registered to a point and then now uh, we're stopping now the sale. Said, okay, we have Alfred we're back. Stopping it. Alfred, we lost your audio for a moment there and you, your train of thought, if you still have it, please go on. I think you might be muted. Please unmute. Hello, Alfred. Please unmute. I think you might be muted. Okay, I think he's just having to sort out his audio there. Well, I, like I was saying, abracadabra. Okay, can we hear you now? Yes, I, okay. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, you were saying something. Yeah, just, just move along with it. You, 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 you see, we were saying that the government should do better. Yes. Now you have people... And they even provide how many people that were able to register. Mm. For maybe each local government have they don't even have that measure. So that's what we are talking about. How many people do they have? We are looking at Lagos. Or you are looking at the population of over 20 million people. Now, how? What are the measures in which you want to go about distributing this those kind of rights? It is a no no for me. Mm. It will just go out. And you see, these are things that um, if you give some of us opportunity, we say they are already dead on arrival. So the government should find other measures, find other measures. And this takes me back to uh, the fact that um, uh, we've been complaining over the time past that these people, um, I mean, once they have been elected in, into office, we suddenly can't find them again. All they, they can do, or all they mostly do is that they make Abuja, Abuja becomes their home. So the people are now far from them. Come out here to the people when you are close to the people you can hear from the people you ask questions from the people and the people can tell you directly measures in which you can come up to help them even if i even if you are running out of idea you can have a close measure with the people where the people can um you know give you suggestions different different kind of suggestions and then you can be able to choose from there but what happens when the people we are elected into power are far from us we can't even see them abuja is not their home so these are all the issues. Oh, well, um, I just hope that um, uh, something, uh, the, the, there'll be a plan in the offing for us to benefit from the government. Because when the customs said they were going to sell bags for, was it, was it 15,000 or 20,000, and mm. there was a rush, we heard somebody died or a few, yeah. a few people died and they stopped it. We thought they were going to have a better strategy to distribute. We didn't hear anything anymore. Still the it, same It rice. just stopped like that. And now this one has been stopped. We do not even know the reason why it was stopped or the timeline that was given for them to resume or all that. I don't know whether this hunger has suddenly gone. But uh, I think this is, this is how much we can go uh, talking about this issue. We can only hope and pray that it gets better. Thank right. you so much, Alfred, for being a part of our program this morning. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you, Alvin. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah. We've been talking to Alfred Ogan, a social commentator. He joined us from Lagos here. We'll now uh, take a short break, and when we return, we'll be looking at the fact that government has stopped the sale of 40,000 
Naira, or sorry, we'll be looking at another hot topic. Uh, and the hot topic is that the Senate investigates alleged economic sabotage in petroleum industry. Yes, that's what we're going to be talking about. Stay with us. <laughs> 